World War II brought advancements to many fields, especially in the field of aviation. But one country which was at the peak of innovation were Germans. When we take a look at their inventions, we can see that their inventions were far ahead in time as they created the world's first operational jet, the Messerschmitt Me 262 rockets like the V1 and the V2 and many other inventions. Among all these innovations, Germans also pioneered in creating the world's first operational helicopters which they used in some parts of the war in Europe. Today in this video, we are going to look at some of the successful examples of such helicopters of World War II. Focke-Wulf FW-61 The first helicopter, the result of the careful testing by a pair of brothers, took to the skies in France in 1907. Moving forward 30 years in 1936, the Germans entered the helicopter race with the debut of the Focke-Wulf FW-61. This unusual aircraft, constructed on an aeroplane fuselage, had two large rotors flanking the fuselage, complemented with a conventional propeller on the engine, typical of aircraft of the time, to aid with the low-speed maneuvers. Although only two FW-61 helicopters were built, and their fate during the war is unknown, their prototypes, however, did not survive. Folk Achilles FA-330 the Fogg Achilles FA-330 was a kite with a rotor wing. It ascended to the skies for the first time in 1942 with a single big three-bladed rotor, but unlike the earlier models, it lacked the ability to lift itself off the ground. It was created exclusively for the Kriegsmarine, especially for the U-boats. The aircraft was stored within the submarine and brought to the deck once it surfaced. A two-man team would assemble the lightweight aircraft because it lacked a traditional fuselage. A single pilot would climb aboard and with the rotor spinning and the U-boat moving, the airflow generated would glide the FA-330 into the sky much like a kite or a parasail. The helicopter would be attached to the boat and would fly at the height of around 120 meters, almost 400 feet. This allowed the pilot to see into the distance and guided the U-boats to pinpoint Allied transport convoys. Around 200 of these were produced during the war and saw usage by at least a handful of U-boats. Flatner FL-282 The FL-282 was another intriguing German design. This might be an aircraft that first flew in 1941. Unlike the previous two concepts, it had a single rotor above the fuselage, much like current helicopters. The idea piqued the Kriegsmarine's curiosity and after construction was permitted, it would be utilized to carry things between the ships. Due to intense Allied bombardment, the big order of around 1000 units would only see around 25 units completed, similar to the fate of other helicopters. A significantly modified version was created with an additional seat that allowed to be used for utterly spotting. This capability was revealed for the Model 282 towards the last stages of the conflict. However, these helicopters were vulnerable to anti-aircraft fire and opposing fighter aircraft, resulting in low survivability. Folk Achilles FA-223 Dragon Folk Achilles was comparatively a new company. By 1940, their masterpiece, the FA-223 Dragon, had made its spectacular debut, sporting a phenomenal length of 40 feet. This aircraft, distinguished by its dual enormous three-bladed rotors, had a completely enclosed cabin for a crew of two. The F-8223 performed admirably, attaining a top speed of 180 km per hour and an altitude of 7,000 meters, roughly 23,000 feet. It was primarily meant for transportation, but it could carry weight of up to 1,000 kg, making it an amazing aerial vehicle with evident value in the context of military endeavors. The Dragon helicopter was approved for manufacturing after a series of prototype versions. Regrettably, due to Allied bombing of its production facilities, wartime output remained limited, delivering only 20 operational helicopters. Certain FA-223 aircraft, however, went above and beyond their assigned carrying function. Some Dragons were adapted for artillery spotting in Austria in 1945 to resist the oncoming Allied forces. Following the war, a section of the surviving fleet was handed over to the British and the United States for testing reasons. These were some of the successful examples of the Germans' World War II helicopters, while Allied also tried to create their own helicopters at the same time, and some succeeded more than the others. But that's a topic for another video. 
What do you think about these German inventions? Leave your comment below. See you guys in the next video.